What's up, fellow Shadow Knights, my fellow Shadow family forevermore? It's your friendly neighborhood, KC Shadow here. And today is a Friday. And like I said, I will do either every Friday or every other Friday. It changes, but it stays a Friday. So it's not always going to be every Friday for my videos. However, today's a fun video. I decided to allow my Taigi to decide my video choice. And what I give you for entertainment. So, do you want to say it? Pokemon? It is a Pokemon video. It is about what I think and believe. So, my opinion. So, don't get negative if you don't agree with my choices. Of what I believe should have either Mega Evolutions or another form from another region and or... An ev evolution, another evolved form, basically. For a Pokemon, a couple Pokemon. How many should I do? Um, or just go until I get bored? 13. 13, my lovely lucky number. Can you count it down? 13. Wait, am I starting the 13 up? Or? 13 to 1. 13 to 1, okay. I don't have 13 fingers, so I can't use my fingies, so, uh. Thirteen. Here we go. Pseudo Wudo. I feel Pseudo Wudo either deserves either, I'd say, a Mega Evolution and or just another Evolve form. Because, honestly, Pseudo Wudo deserves it. Bond Sly is Pseudo Wudo. I think you could probably even consider it gaining an additional typing or a change of typing when it evolves. I feel if it evolves, it should be ev evolve during the night. In my opinion, it would be cool. I mean, like, it's a happy tree, so maybe even show that it's happy, even during the dark times. Um, I'd say a moonstone during... Well, it should hold a moonstone and obtain friendship as a pseudo wudo, And it should have a specific move or something. I don't know, something along those lines. One of the many, or two. And I feel that... In all honesty, I feel it should also have, like, I'd say a terrain ability. So it's protected from, like, sandstorm and... What is it? Hail? Is hail the other one? Sandstorm, hail, rain dance, and all that? I don't think she hears me. Anywho, like, hail and sandstorm. Number 12. Um, Arcanine and Growlithe. I believe that there should be a water version, kind of like how Vulpix and Ninetales got an Alola region form where it's an ice type instead of a fire. I think that having a water type would be awesome for a Growlithe Arcanine. And I think it should just be black and blue. Just change the, some of the color. Keep the black stripes and make the what is what is orangey turn it into a blue like like a ocean sea blue like not dark but not light kind of in between a good decent color of blue. I don't know if you would want to change the main color. Maybe make it a slightly darker tint, not too dark, almost looking similar. And the shiny form instead of it being gold should be silver, so black and silver instead of black and gold. Pretty easy, I'd say. And just make it that it's from another region instead of Kanto, I believe. Arcanine's Kanto, right? I have that correct? Arcanine? Yeah, Kanto. Uh, I, I, I think so. I'm Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander is Arcanine's region. You should know this more than I do. <laughs> I suck at all the regions. I don't remember them anymore. There's so many, I mix them up. Anywho, number 11. She didn't say it that time. Anywho, um, number 11, I'd say should be Wobbuffet. And honestly, it should be in a ball form only because my daughter came up with the idea. I even drew it. It is called Wabafaba. In fact, hold that thought. I'll get the picture. I drew it for her. 
I have my book out still, so this works in my favor. Excuse me, my apologies. Where's Waba Faba? I know I drew Waba Faba. Here you are. It almost looks like Waba Fat. Instead, it should have three eyes. This would be the third eye. Have this thing, because I think it'd be really cool. Have two tails instead of one, and have four arms. So, Waba Faba. You missed 11. 11. Next up is 10. 10. Oh, speaking of Waba Faba, back to 11 quick. And then we'll go back to 10. Then we'll get to 10. I believe I also put the typing of what Waba Faba would be, in my opinion. Because I believe I added two types instead of one. A psychic fairy. Yeah. Psychic fairy. Now to 10. 10. I believe that um, Jinx should have another evolved form. Mainly because Mr. Mime kind of did get one, and now I kind of want to see Jinx and Mr. Mime. It, would, it only makes sense, in my opinion. I don't know how the typing or anything would be. The evolving way, I feel it would probably be a specific type of environment with a specific item being held when it levels up. A specific number, honestly. So I'd say maybe friendship actually would be best while holding a specific item in a certain location. So yeah, Mr. Mime should have a pal. Since Mr. Mime gets to evolve, now Jinx should get to evolve too. Number nine. Nine. Nine is Mega Evolution, and that's the Johto Starters. For Alligator, Typhlosion, and, well, yes, the grass type deserves one, too. Yes, I know the name. I'm not a fan. Many good reasons for it, though. Anywho, I believe they all deserve it, because it makes no sense that the beginning, basically the first and the third regions have it. It just doesn't make sense, and I feel that at least the first three should, and not the first and the third, not the second. Like the second should definitely have Mega Evolutions. And with that, I'm throwing in additional with that Noctowl. Should have a Mega Evolution. And I feel with that, it should have some representation towards Merlin and Archimedes. Basically, because the owl is Archimedes. And I feel what they should do is just kind of make his eyebrows longer. Like an old man. Like very long. Almost like a beard. I'm on nine, by the way. Nine. <laughs> but yeah, Noctowl. Number eight. Eight. <laughs> um, number eight would be not the Alolan one, only the original Marowak. I don't know why, but I feel a Marowak to evolve would be interesting. I just... I don't know. It's. I mean, like, it'd be cool if both the Alolan and that. My favorite one is actually the Alolan Marowak. I'm sorry, but it's black with fire, and it looks way cooler. But I love Marowak. But um, Marowak having an evolve form, I think would be cool, only because I doubt it would get a Mega Evolution since there's an Alolan form. I kind of count, if it gets another region form, it does not deserve a Mega Evolution because it has another region format, which has a new typing and a slightly different look, but not too different. I feel that actually makes up for not having a Mega Evolution. That's why I feel Growls and Arcanine should have the similar as Ninetales because it's only two forms and it works best. And because of what Arcanine is based off of, it would make sense making it a water type. But back to what I was stating, though. Marowak, I feel, should have just an evolved form. Like, I feel Cubone and Marowak for... I just feel like it deserves one last strength. I mean, like, it is wearing its dead mom's skull. It, it deserves more. I wouldn't care if it just, like, the final form, the skull just becomes, like, uh, I'd say kind of, like, I'd say a breastplate almost. Kind of like an armor. 
and have, or make it a ghost type, honestly. Make it that it's starting to have more bones around it, and it's slightly spiritually looking to an extent. Like, have certain parts spiritually faded or see-through or something. I don't know. I can't really get creative right now. It's very late. A lot's been going on, so... I apologize. I may do a redo of this video and just make it a lot better. Um, eight, yeah. So, um, number seven. Seven would basically be a mega evolution. And in my opinion, it's because it has a counterpart, and I'm including both. Because they battle one another. Zangus and Saviper should have a Mega Evolve form. Which, honestly, I feel their Mega Evolution should incorporate their rivalry between one another. And with that, I think it should be they don't Mega Evolve until they befriend one another. And a third Pokemon should come in between them, honestly. I don't know how that would work, but I feel it would have to be a flying type. It only makes sense if a bird eats road like because Zangoose is based off a of mongoose, and so Viper is a snake, you know, a viper. So if you think about it, if you add a bird, there are certain birds that eat rodents and snakes. It would make sense. It would give them the push to be like, hey, look, we need to stop fighting each other and fight this third foe who came out of nowhere and just attack both of us at the same time. Let's be friends. And let's keep it that way. And then they just Mega Evolve. And then this thing already that they're battling happens to already have a Mega Evolution. And it's just a battle of, like, wits or something, you know? Like, you don't know who's going to win. I think it should incorporate that. I believe Zangus and Saviper, though, need that. And with that, it should be, be between them. They do not gain the Mega Evolution until they have befriended. And, you ha and I think... For you to obtain anything, like, I know they're going to need an item to carry, but I feel in order to do so, you need both of them in the same party as the first two Pokemon you start with. So in the one slot, depending on a game, too, like, just as an example, they make, like, Zangoose Rage and, you know, Saviper Fury, and then, like, you have to have Saviper in... And Zangus Rage is number one instead of two, two and have Zangus as you, you you get it like if Saviper's on the cover, Zangus needs to be your first, and then Saviper, and the opposite for the opposite game, and then you get an item because of some random old guy or something gives you it because he's like, wow, it's very rare to see them in the same party. You know, you must really have raised them very well and trained them. With a lot of heart. Something like that. And then he's like, would you like to battle? And then, I don't know, his old lady ex-wife or something comes along with this bird thing. Is like, ah, I'll take you down. And then you get the mega evolution of both Zangus and Saviper. And it becomes a double battle. That'd be really cool. She just happens to have two of the same Pokemon. That is this bird thing that I'm coming up with. <laughs> um, Number six. Number six, honestly... I would have to say, um, uh, yeah, yeah, number six I'd feel would be Venomoth, I think a more bigger form of Venomoth just be cool, but then again, I'm thinking Mothra from Godzilla when it comes to this, but I think an even bigger, more Alter. I don't care if it's an Evolve form or a Mega Evolution. I don't know if Venomoth has a Mega Evolution. If it does, then I've, I, it's, I'm sorry because of the fact I have not been watching a lot of Pokemon or playing a lot of the newer games. I The last game I played was, I think, black or white. I don't remember. I, I have not played the newer ones. I, I, I'm just get like, a couple... Like, last year is when I... No, the year before, technically, I started getting into some of the newer stuff. But last year, I really was getting into some of the new stuff. But besides that, I, I honestly believe that Venomoth would be cool if it had a Mega Evolution and or just a bigger Moth Evolve form. But then again, I love Venomoth. Now, the next one. 
only because Beedrill has a Mega Evolution, and you either choose Weedle or Caterpie. In my opinion, I choose Weedle at all times, because freaking Weedle's awesome. But I'm surprised Butterfree does not have a Mega Evolution, so Butterfree is who I believe should have another. I don't know if I'm on five or six. I don't remember. I, I, after a couple numbers, I draw blank because I get distracted easy and everything. And I'm seeing my kitty, Shizu, playing with something. It looks like a jelly. Are you playing with a jelly bean? You are playing with a jelly bean. Please, uh, I don't want her to eat that. I don't think that's good for a cat. You can't eat that, baby girl. Why is it jelly? Uh-oh. I don't want you getting sick, honey. Thank you. Ah, I apologize for that. Anywho, back on track. Yeah, Butterfree should have a Mega Evolution. It just makes sense because they gave Beedrill one. Why wouldn't you give, you know, Butterfree? I mean, like, Caterpie gets no love now. I mean, like, Weedle's the ultimate no matter what. I mean, like, I even made a song for Weedle. Yeah, I wrote a song for Weedle. Kakuna, Beedrill. Mega Beedrill is mentioned it once in the lyric. Anywho, yeah. The next one, honestly, I don't know if I'm on 5 or 4, so I'm gonna do... I might be doing 14 instead of 13. I hope I still do 13, though. But anywho. Um, the next Pokemon I believe should have... Honestly, I'd say it would have to be a Mega Evolution. I think it only makes more sense. Is Dodrio, the three-headed bird. I don't know if it's an ostrich, an emu, or whatever. But I say it's an ostrich with three heads. I say Doduo is more the emu. But I honestly think all it should do is be a three-headed, more badass-looking Dodrio. It, it's Dodrio the bird, right? I'm not mixing Dodrio. it with... It's Dodrio? It's Dodrio... Dodrio Do, Do, Duo and Dodrio. Yeah, but I know um, Diglett's of all form is kind of almost similar by name. I mix them for some reason. Diglett and... Um, Digtrio. Dogtrio. Dogtrio. That's why. Are you sure it's not Dodrio? It's Dogtrio. For the bird? No, for, for the bird it's Dodrio. Okay, I'm talking on Dodrio. Yeah. I think Diglett's uh, of all forms should just stay as is. I, I, it just another couple heads. I don't think it's needed. The bird though has more detail, so yeah. Another one I think the next Pokemon I'm putting out there that should have a Mega of all form, in my opinion. Gengar got one. Alakazam got one. Why didn't Machamp get one? I mean, four arms and a title belt. You may go evolve it. I say it should have six arms and two title belts. One around its like, have it like it's wearing it around, almost like a bullet thing. I forget the name of it. It, it, it looks like a belt that holds bullets. And then have the other one around his waist. So he's a double champion. I mean, like a Mega Machamp would be really freaking cool. And have his arms, like each fist, have like maybe electricity on the one, fire on the other, ice on the other. And it just. You, it has the ability to, when it uses a fighting type move, if it's fighting a certain type of Pokemon with a weakness, it has a random chance of either freezing or something. I just think it'd be really cool, interesting. Like, he has two titles. He had to get two titles somehow. And I feel he should have, like, the, those things that are on his head, they should just be spikier. Like, a little bit higher, or maybe one extra, or make it almost look like he has a long... One going down, almost like long hair or something. Um, but yeah, I honestly think that would be really cool. Um, and maybe give him like more pants looking thing, like not full pants, like almost pants, like maybe above the knees a little, just just so it's not looking like underwear this time. Um, another Pokemon that I believe should get. I'd say it'd be more of an evolved form, and that's, um, Lydian. The, oh, Lydian, 
I think deserves an evolve form. I just I'm cu I don't know how I would expect it to look, but I feel it would be a little taller. I feel like it would almost be like human size, almost like not full human size, maybe like this almost the same height as a freaking child. But I feel it would be an additional typing too, and I feel it would have to be a specific region, and it has to evolve in a specific format, and I think it only can get that way as a ladybug, not as a Lydian, technically. I feel it should be an option. It becomes Lydian or this other one, and I feel if it becomes this other one, it gains an additional typing, which I think should be a fighting bug type. I think that'd be really interesting. And with that, I think it should deserve a new type of move set or a couple new moves. Um, But yeah, I, I honestly think something that comes after Lydian or an option between Lydian or another, I like the option more. It just sounds a lot cooler and makes more sense to me. I think that would really work. Another thing would be Mega Evolutions. And that would be, I would like to see Gen 4 get Mega Forms too. So, Gen 2 and Gen 4. Do Johto and whatever the Gen 4's region is. I, I'm not good at remembering all the regions. But, I feel they both should. Just the first four should have Mega Evolutions. Everything else doesn't get the Mega Evolution. Because I think everything else after that gets like those special attack things instead. I think the original four, though, should get the Mega Forms. I think that'd be really cool. Plus, a Mega Infernape would make my day. And I feel his tail should just be a little bit longer, maybe. Or a lot longer. I could imagine it maybe be... With the Mega Form... Um... I don't know if Mega Forms... Do all Pokemon getting an additional type. I'm still learning about these Mega Forms, but they're decently cool. For some... But I feel for Infernape, he should be, like, he, honestly, I feel his typing would alter a little. Like, the fire would stay, but I feel like, for some reason, he would gain, like, some way to levitate. I would love to see him in Indian sitting style, just like this, and just, like, he could still do fighting moves, but I think maybe a sidekick, fire, or something like that, but... I mean, like, the fire fi fighting works, but I mean, like, there's already Blaziken. There's already everything else. Sorry, I just don't like the fire fighting concept for every starter. It's kind of boring. The only one I like is the very, the very first, in my opinion, that counts when it comes to fire fighting. Because, only because to me, Blaziken... I don't know if he is firefighting. Actually, I think he's a firefly. I, I, I don't normally pick Chortic. I always went with Trico. I love Sceptile and Grovile and Trico, so. And my other option was always Mudkip. But all of them look like they're a fighting animal. It, it's just so common and annoying to me. This is my opinion. Um, but, yeah, I think Infernape... Um, what is it? Polion, I think, is how you pronounce that one's name. And then Torterra would be really cool to make a form. I don't know how you would do Torterra because I think you'd just do what you did with freaking Venusaur and just add a couple more plants on them, make them a little bit bulkier, and add, like, I'd add another tree and anything. Like, and Polion, I feel, would look wicked. I feel there would be a shield somewhere on its back or something, I think. And Fernip, I feel like he would find a way to levitate, though. I don't know about seeing... Or at least be on his tail very strong. Actually, that sounds a lot cooler for Infernape. Instead of just keep the firefighting and have it that he's so strong, he can balance on just... And stand on just his tail. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, The next one would be... I'd say it'd be another region format, in my opinion. And we're going to go back to basically, like, like I said, I like Venomoth. So, Venonat and Venomoth make another region, and it'd be really cool. And she thing again. 
Oh, I don't know. Where did you have it? I found it. Oh, it's right there. I'll be in then. I love yous. Mm. Oh, poor baby. But, yeah, honestly, I think even if it didn't get a mega farm, it'd be cool even if it had um another region form. I feel it would just be a bug with an additional typing, and I think it would be cool to see it as a... Um, I mean... I think it'd be cool to see it as a ghost bug type. Just because I feel some, for some reason, a ghostly looking Venonat would be really wicked. And I feel that little cute pink thing just turned into like little bones that almost look like tea. I think that's all you need to do for that too much. Change the color pattern a bit. Make it that it has the fur puff ball, but some of it has like a ghostly aura to it. And just maybe slightly alter the way the feet look. And keep the antennas the same, I'd say. Like, don't change too much of it. Venomoth, I don't know how you'd do it, but I feel it would look really sick. Honestly. And I think it should be... I forget, is it transparent where it looks like it's almost see-through? I think the wings should be somewhat like that. Like, you see through the wings, you could see, like, that line. I think it should have, like, a ghostly aura, of course. It should have, like... Almost like a ghastly hunter kind of feel to it to an extent mixed with like a Venomoth. That's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, another Pokemon. I would honestly prefer to see it get another evolved form. I know it has a Mega Evolution already. So I guess I can't use that one. I don't know. I'll change my choice then just, just because. Because I can. Okay. This, though, would be an awesome evolved form. I think both plus all and Minin are something that should definitely... I think one should be Division and the other should be Times Tables. I'm sorry, but Time... I think you could call it, like, Dividey and Timesy. I think it would work. Plus all, Minin, Timesy, Dividey. I feel Dividey would be what a Minin would evolve to. And Timesy would be what Plusl evolves to. Go from Addition to... What is it? Time... I just suck at math. Okay, so... But you get the gifs, I, the, the idea, I'm sure. But I honestly think... With that, then, they should gain an additional type, and I think it should be an electric fairy type for both. It just makes sense to me that they would gain a fairy type as an additional typing. That At least then they'd stand a big chance against a dragon type. Well, yeah, fair, I was told fairies are actually apparently strong against dragons. So At first I thought I had a mixed. Um, I'll do two more, and that will be the end of the video, so... um. The next one I feel would be Voltorb and Electrode, only because of the fact Magnemite and Magneton got Magnavire. I mean, like, Voltorb, Exeggutor, you could have come up with something. I mean, like, Magnavire, you could have had it as um, Voltorb, no, it's not Exeggutor, wow. Um, it's, um, Electrode, wow. Did not, wow, I can't believe, I'm tired, a little bit. Okay, halfway tired, like, I'm pretty tired. Um, I don't know how you would name it, I feel like you would need an incorporation of the word self-destruct would have to be its, like, best thing. I feel like if it faints, it self-destructs, and it has a high chance of leaving a 1% or something. I think that it would be a very scary-looking thing. I think it would be just a big electrode with two Voltorbs attached to it, honestly. It'd just be a ticking time bomb in an aspect of a Pokemon. It'd be a pretty sick, twisted, scary Pokemon. I feel... That 
with it, it would then need to extremely rival a magnifier. Um, why do I feel like I might be saying magnifier and it's not even the proper name? It's magneton. The magma is it magnifier? I know there's electivire, and I'm wondering if I'm confusing electabuzz now. I don't really like to evolve Magneton either. Like I said, I'm still getting used to I don't like its evolved form. No. I like Magneton more. Um, so I apologize if I'm mispronouncing or messing up the names extremely because I'm tired and whatnot. I apologize in advance. Um, last one I'll do it instead. I'll, I'll end it here then. Um... um I think actually yeah, that actually sounds like a great idea I just had a good idea now this is a set of four I don't know how to pronounce the one properly as far as I think I don't think I've ever been t pronouncing it right but I'll say him last Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan and Hitmon top, and then there's, was it Tyrogu or Tyrogue, something like that. I feel all of them should have a mega evolution. Hitmonlee, I feel, would just, I don't know how they would look exactly, but I feel they would look almost similar, just a bit of a big change. I feel, honestly, that they would benefit really awesomely from it. I feel Hitmontop, though, should be on his feet with it and just his feet turn out to be tops, spinning tops. Like, I feel Hitmontop would go on any part of his, like, his hands, his feet, his head, anywhere. I think that would be really awesome. Hitmonchan, I feel just for spite, since he's a boxer more, I feel... He should be sitting at all times. Like, he'd just be like, I don't need to stand anymore. And I feel he would be on some weird item that just comes with him everywhere. Kind of like how Alakazam has the spoon. Like, he would just be sitting on some, I don't know, a stump. And that stump has become part of him. And it makes him stronger with his fists. And I feel, he, like, that would be really cool. What do you think? Hitmon Top, Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan, and I can never pronounce the other one. A Tyrogue, Tyrogu, something like that. Okay. All four get a mega evolution. Yeah. Hitmon Top, he would pretty much, his hands, feet, and head would be a spinning top instead. Uh huh. Hitmon Chan, I feel, would be sitting on something and just be the ultimate puncher. He doesn't kick, he punches. Hitmon Lee, I feel, would have his hands behind his back. I feel Hitmonlee would just keep his hands behind his back and be kicking all the time. and Or make it look like he has his hands in the pocket like that wrestler um, that I like. Um, Orange Cassidy, I think is how you pronounce his name. I think that would be really cool. Um, Tyrogue, though, I don't know how he would look, but I feel like they'd find a way to make him like a badass either way. But now I really want to see a mega evolution of all four. But the one I still want to see is Machamp get one. I think that would be really wicked. But that is the end of the video. I'm going to edit this because my phone, I've been using this. So um, it might have me need to connect all the videos as one. Because it cuts in the parts depending how long the video is. So I apologize in advance. That this is probably not the most exciting video of mine. So... I'm going to leave it as a fist bomb llama moment. Hi, have a wonderful day. And remember, stay safe, wash your hands, and remember, don't trust the media with this virus thing. Trust your doctor.